just got one of these handsome fellas here to have a quick chat with me. What's your name, sir? Hey, it's Alan. And how far have you travelled, Alan? Uh, I live in York, but I'm from Stoke-on-Trent. I did a Glory Boy Mod radio show on Six Towns Radio. Fabulous. And I'm co-hosting with Johnny to put the event on. You playing music today? Uh, I'm DJing today with Tony Clark from Plastic Pop Records and Mick the Mod from uh, Shake It Easy in Leeds. And then obviously we've got six bands on as well today. Fantastic. What time's your set? Whenever. <laughs> in between, a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, and whenever really. Have you come on one of these beautiful scooters? No, mate, I've come in the Jag. <laughs> Travelling That's style. the trouble with old age, you need to sit on that seat too long. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Right then, fellas, what's your names? Paul. Nige. Vince. Vince is a bit far out of the picture. Come over here, Vince. Where have you come from? Rocket uh, Dragon. Have you been to one of these things before? March of the Mods? No. No? no? Yeah. You know what to, what's to expect today? What's going to go on today? We've, we've been to a few with the stalls and all, and all that. Um, yeah, and that and that, we? And Charity. You bought your dancing shoes? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Have you come on these beautiful scooters? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I just get these scooters in one second? One first, eh? I always go for the shiny one first. Ex mods, you know, and all that. It's in the blood. I don't know what you want at the back. <laughs> so, you say you're local lads, then, really? Yeah, so far. Are you part of a scooter club? 15, 20 more. No, we just, okay. just stand about together. Just solo riders, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, hope you have a great day. Okay. Okay. It's very early on, it's only midday, so you've got about 13 hours of drinking in you. <laughs> <laughs> Not riding now. Right, here we go again. We're just outside taking a bit of a breather. I've caught these two lovely people here. Where are you from? Hey, Stoke. Stoke itself. I'm from Manchester. Manchester and Stoke. Cosmopolitan out here. So we're having a quick break. What do you think of the show so far? Yeah, very good. Very good, yeah. Brilliant. Some good bang Brilliant. on so far. Now, look, how long have you been into this sort of scene? Oh, guys, all my life, really. All my life? All my life, yeah. All my life, yeah. All my life, yeah. All my I, life think, I think I'm a bit of typical of everything what's been going on over the years in general, though. But when we were kids, we grew up in this scene. We all broke away from it. Yes, I and did too. And then we all came back to it. Yes, I, I did too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a, a bigger thing. And I think what actually went on there was the oasis. That's my personal opinion. He sort of brought everyone back to that sort of. That's, a, that's an opinion that I don't. I personally don't think Oasis are a mob band. No, I don't. No, I don't mean like that. Oh, no. I think yeah. they brought, they brought the, the Brit pop into it, and they yes, they yeah. brought the mod back again, like another generation of <laughs> So, so going back to this Cancer Trust Foundation, this thing while we're here today, how many of these have you been to? Man? Uh, every show one throughout the years, up to yet. Uh, they haven't skipped one or two throughout the years. Probably the last one. eight years, eight years. Yeah. Eight years, yeah. yeah. A friend of ours, uh, Mouse, who suddenly died a few years ago, he was like, he was the founder of Manchester Mouse. Okay. And um, and there's um, um, he was a big, uh, well, basically what oh, he yeah. did. What he did, he was basically. He, he was like the founder of Manchester. He was a big organiser of the Manchester all. one, Mouse was, but he sadly passed away. Uh, and you'll probably find it the Manchester one if you turn up there and have interviews with people and all that sort of stuff. You will mention it. They will. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. I have heard of yeah. yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so you plan to stop here all day? Oh yeah. But it's oh, a yeah. 13 yeah. hour gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll <laughs> stick it through. We'll stick You're going to stick it through. through. So if Probably I come and speak to you about midnight, you might be lying down here somewhere. Possibly. Two glasses of water in between. Well, have a great evening. We will do. Take care. Yeah, Paul Wallace number one, by the way. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome back. This is very much a summary of yesterday, sort of a morning, well, afternoon after. Amazing day. Had a lovely time there. Some great people at Stoke-on-Trent. An amazing event. 13 hours of non-stop music, live bands and DJs coming and going. It was a great, great, great day. And some of the acts on there was absolutely amazing. Some of the young lads that kicked off, some to be looked at, I think they're called The Crown. Look out for them if you're in Stoke-on-Trent. Excellent lads. Anyway, a big shout out to the people at Stoke-on-Trent who looked after me. Great hospitality, warm welcome. And a huge shout out to, to Johnny Bradley who put the whole thing on. I mean, that was an amazing thing to try and do. It's a huge event, get everything together, tie it all in, get the people, the acts where you want them to be, playing at the right time. Very hard to do. Almost as hard as getting out of a straitjacket, which I know because I've done both. 
But anyway, Johnny, thanks for inviting me. Had a great time. Met some great people there. The people are so warm and welcoming up in Stoke. Really, really great people. I have a bit of an apology to the Lemon Tops because they're a band who was going on stage through through the afternoon and we did um, an interview before they was on stage and it, it went really well. We did it in a back room and it went really well and I was hoping to, to play it on this channel but when I got home and I edited it and had a look at it, we was drowned out by the club's PA system. So although listening to Jimmy Mack and soul music it was very pleasant but we, we couldn't hear the, the conversation. So sorry to the Lemon Tops and I will try and catch up with you guys at a later date and we will do that again because you had some very interesting things to say and your set was amazing by the way, it really was a great set. So a great day and I'm at it again next weekend, I won't tell you where until on the day but you'll see me out and about, if you see me when I'm filming come up have a chat, if you've got something to say about the scooter scene, mods, skinheads, punks, don't really care, subculture, come and have a chat, we'll put it on air. Tell us your views. Subscribe, like the channel, catch me next time. Oh, ride safe.